Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this mini-series I'm doing on the Adobe Audition Preferences menu, we'll talk about media and disk cache and memory usage as well. Let's hop into Adobe Audition. And remember, if you never want to miss another video, make sure to like, also subscribe, and ding the bell on my channel, and you'll always get every video I release on audio production and podcast production and a lot more. So here we are in Adobe Audition, and I wanted to go into the Preferences menu. Uh, Control, comma is the quickest way to access it, or Command, comma on a Mac. And let's look at media and disk cache. Now, this might seem really boring, but it can enhance the performance of Audition if done correctly. So you've got, first of all, the most important part of this whole Preferences menu, in my opinion, is the Audition Audio Disk Cache. This is the number one way to improve the performance of Adobe Audition. So I highly recommend doing it. You get a primary temp area, so a primary area for temporary files, which is generally in the Adobe Audition uh, menu here. You can browse and change it somewhere else. Now, if you've got the luxury of a, a, a hard disk for your operating system, that's usually the C drive, uh, and then you've got uh, another couple of hard disks or uh, maybe SSDs, even better, then definitely assign a temp folder. Create a folder like D colon slash temp if you're on PC, or obviously your other drives on Mac, and assign that here using the browse feature. And for secondary temp, it's usually by default none. Again, if you've got another hard drive, browse around and find a place that you can actually select uh, as a secondary temp area. If it has to all be on the same hard disk, so be it, but much better if it can be on different disks. This will dramatically increase the performance of Audition if you set up primary temp, secondary temp on different hard disks and separate from your operating system hard disk as well. Really good ninja tip there. Then you've got media cache files and database as well. You don't really need to worry about these. I wouldn't even touch these settings. Um, I just wouldn't touch them at all. So don't worry about them. But essentially, when you're dragging files in, a cache is being created somewhere on your hard drive. And by default, it's here in your Adobe Audition app data. Uh, you can say save media cache files next to originals, and that will save a load of cache files all over your hard disk. So I really don't advise doing that. And if you want to change the location of this, you can browse and change it. But again, I don't advise doing that. Uh, the media cache database, you can change the location as well. Again, I don't advise doing that. And if you find things are getting a little bit corrupt when you're bringing things in and not working as you should, just click clean here to clean your media cache database, and it will go through, purge everything, and put things back to step one. It can take rather a long time, so I might actually go ahead and cancel that. Uh, but yeah, it can clean out a load of files, but it's quite handy to have that cache built up because obviously over time, it improves the performance of Adobe Audition. Now, Adobe Audition session templates are really, really interesting. Again, by default, I'd leave these as is. Uh, that is the location of all the templates when you go to File, New, multi-track session and drop down the template folder. You'll see my music radio creative presets are listed there. They will then be available or you'll be able to find them if you go to this location here on your hard drive. Again, leave it as default. Now, save peak files by default is usually ticked. This one, change it. Please change it. Do not leave it ticked. There may be some reasons you want this ticked, but generally it's a real annoyance. Every time you open any audio file, Adobe Audition is going to save a .pk file. And it's the most annoying thing ever. So I get rid of it. But if you're working in an archive center and you're working with audio files that four hours long or 40 hours long or 100 hours long, you may well want to keep that ticked because it's going to create... Um, a pattern of the waveform so that you don't have to wait for ages on loading very large audio files. But for most people loading short audio files, untick it, I just find it an annoyance. Uh, and then finally, we'll look at memory. It's a very simple place here. We've got installed RAM here on my computer. I've got 64 gigs. And then the RAM reserved for other applications is 12 gigabytes, meaning RAM available for all these Adobe apps I have installed, including Audition, is 52 gigabytes. If you find that your Adobe apps are too much of a hog, you can actually increase this and decrease the amount available to Audition. But bear in mind, that will reduce the performance of Adobe Audition. You could decrease this down to as low as six gigabytes if you really want to give the biggest bite for audition. But again, for most people, leave it as it's set. You know, 
really default settings are the best in this instance. And that is a walkthrough of those two sections of the preferences menu in Adobe Audition. If you want to get the presets that I was showing you here as I was going into file, new and multi-track and I was bringing up those lovely templates there to work in Audition, I used this Music Radio Creative presets for audio production and pro podcast presets for producing podcasts. Head on over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. That's mrc.fm forward slash presets. And let me know any questions you have down in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs>